Hello? Michael? Hello? Scared the shit out of me. Oh, it was a joke. God. Whatever, I'm going. Wait, no, no, no. Come on, come yeah. on, come on. Don't be like that. Ah, this was supposed to be romantic. This is not romantic. This is creepy. I'm freezing my ass off. Fine. Then uh, let's just let's forget it. Forget what? <clears throat> Happy birthday. <gasps> it's not my birthday. I'm early, I couldn't wait. Those are real diamonds, in case you're wondering. It's too much. Oh, okay, well then I'll just no, take it no, back. No, 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 <laughs> no. I love it. <laughs> That's so beautiful, thank you. What's wrong? Mm. You're hearing things again. No, no, no. I, no, it's, no, it's just a headache. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just want to get out of here, okay? Whoa! <laughs> Dad. What? Get in the car. What are you doing way up here? Did you follow me? I asked you to stay away from him. Michael and I are getting married. That's not gonna happen. I'll be 18 next week. You can't stop us. You're gonna be 18. Why do you hate him so much? He has nothing to do with it. I hate myself. I had so many plans for you. And everything got spoiled. Dad, what are and you it's doing? It's all my fault. I'm so sorry for what I did. Have you been drinking? Dad! I didn't know what else to do. What are you Dad. talking about? Dad, can you slow down, please? Dad! What the hell? Let me out of the car! The darkness is coming for you! Let me out! No! Stop it! Turn 18. I couldn't let them take you.
You sleep okay? Yeah. You feeling all right? This uniform makes me nauseous, if that's what you mean. I think you look pretty. Not wearing your glasses. <sighs> Even prettier. It's a good school, Molly. It's one of the best in the state. Promise me that you'll give it a chance. Fresh start, okay? For both of us. Well, you are an excellent student, Miss Hartley. I'm sure you'll find Huntington Prep every bit as challenging as your last school. Your uh, father has requested an appointment with our school counselor. Dr. Emerson, room 260, six period. Come in. Ah, uh, Miss White. Miss White, Miss Hartley. Miss White will escort you to your classes. Nay, cursed be thou, since against his thy will chose freely what it now so justly rules. Begin with some feeling, Mr. Young. Nay, cursed be thou, since... Miss Draper, this is Molly Hartley. It's her first day. She's from Boston, and she had a 4.0 at Fillmore Prep. Welcome, Miss Hartley, from Boston. Thank you. Any other pertinent information we should know about? Hobbies? Food allergies, maybe? <laughs> OK. All right, take a seat, then. I'm in the middle of Paradise Lost. Be a chair. Jealous. <clears throat> Excuse me? Ladies, are we done? Yes, I'm done. Can we continue? Mr. Young, keep reading. Which way I fly is hell, myself am hell. <laughs> Do you want pizza? Or maybe a sandwich? It's my treat. <laughs> Don't worry, they're not laughing at you. People make fun of me because I'm on scholarship. Not that it's any of their business. And some people are offended because I have a close personal relationship with Jesus. doesn't bother me. Are you okay? Molly? I'll be right back. Do you want me to come with you? No. You can't hide me all day, you know. Believe me. I tried. <laughs>
so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Are you okay? I'm Joseph Young from English class. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, usually I'm pretty good at this. At what? Flirting, I guess. <laughs> no one normally gets hurt, though. I am fine. No permanent damage. <laughs> good. Ditching class on the first day, I see. That's pretty bold. I don't have a six period. Everyone has six period. Okay, I get it. Woman of mystery. So what are you doing right now? You want to go grab something to eat or what? What about that girl from class? Who, Susie? She's your girlfriend, right? Well, hey, we could be friends. Everyone needs friends, right? I'm new. I don't need that kind of trouble. Okay. I have to get home. Uh, wait, I can give you a ride if you want. No, thanks. I'll see you in school tomorrow, then. first day of school. How was the first day of work? Ah, oh, it's busy. Lots of meetings. Bad coffee. Same here. Do you see the school counselor? Yeah. He was fine. School's fine. Everything was fine. I was hoping things would be better than fine. You know, maybe good or promising. Stop acting like everything is all right. It's never going to be all right. What is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. I am doing my best to keep this family together, and I expect you to do the same. Can she get out? Hmm? Can she get out of that place? She's sick. But there's a chance that she could get well. And if that happens... I want to know that she can't get out. I want to know that she's locked up forever. She can't hurt you, Molly, I promise. No one is ever going to hurt you again. I won't let that happen. All right? If you ever change your mind, if you ever feel like seeing her, you know, that, that would be okay, too. No. She's still your mother. I'm not hungry. Do you, you want me to make you something else? I need to start my homework. Pray, Molly, pray. Forgive me, I have sin. You know I love you. I'm sorry, but I know what you are now. And it's the only way you understand, don't you? No. Close your eyes, my baby. I can save you. <gasps>
All right, take a seat. Well, after reading your papers on Paradise Lost over the weekend, I've decided to revise the lesson plans a bit. Pass these back. The Bible? This isn't to be read in a religious context. It occurs to me many of you don't have the necessary reference points to fully appreciate these iconic texts of English literature. So, Leah, we're all gonna do a little extra reading. Look, my parents don't pay a shitload of tuition for me to get stuck in Bible camp. Your parents pay for an excellent education, which is exactly what I'm giving you. Hmm. Thanks, but no thanks. Yes, Alexis? I already have a Bible. I don't need this one. Well, just to keep things clear, we're all gonna use the same edition, just like all of our other texts. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm sorry? I don't feel comfortable talking about the Bible as some sort of text. It's the word of God, not some morally questionable novel you give us a pop quiz on. Jesus free. <laughs> That's enough. It's sacrilegious. It's profane. Alexis, I appreciate your beliefs. I do. You need to learn to navigate in the secular world if you want to succeed here. I can navigate in the secular world without questioning my beliefs. I don't see why we have to talk about this as if it's an opinion. It's the truth. I. Molly, do you have something to add? You're bleeding. You may be excused. All right, open to the book of Psalms and Leah's gonna lead us through it. It's extra credit. feeling better? I was off campus at a meeting. I'm Dr. Emerson. I guess you got sidetracked on your way to our appointment yesterday. I understand. I imagine it must be overwhelming on your first day of classes, but your father insisted. He worries a lot. I hope you don't mind. It's still technically sealed, but everything stays between you and me, all right? I don't need to be here. I heard you had a panic attack in class today. You want to tell me about it? It was just a nosebleed. Just got freaked out by all the blood, that's all. Must be hard being new at school, even under the best of circumstances. I'm new here, too. It's hard for me. How are you feeling otherwise? Whatever it says in there, I'm not like her. We're not suggesting that, Molly. Our only concern is you. Well, I told you, I'm fine. Your mother stabbed you in the chest with a pair of scissors. There was no sign of mental illness, no warning. I don't remember, OK? Everyone keeps asking me what happened, and I don't remember. She's locked up, and she can't get out. Are you interested in knowing what her diagnosis is?
probable psychotic disorder. Signs of paranoid schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder accompanied by a bipolar disorder. I get it. She's crazy. It's OK to be scared, Molly. What? Of developing the same symptoms. There is a genetic component to this disease. We're going to keep an eye on you. We're not going to let anything happen to you. Books? <gasps> You're looking up shit in books? Isn't that what computers are for? Oh, uh, comp schools, um, track everything you look up on the computer. You know, standard procedure. Well, I guess I didn't peg you as the paranoid type. I'm not. I, I just don't like people keeping a record of my thoughts. Oh. Medical Diagnostic Manual of Mental Disorders. What? You don't need this. I can diagnose you. Yeah. Ooh, this is not good. It's, um, Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> good call. Yeah, well, it was uh, kind of the nosebleed that gave you away. Um, too bad you only have six hours to live. Too bad. Well, maybe now you'll let me give you a ride home, since we don't have that much time left. Since it's terminal, I guess I can make an exception. <laughs> <laughs> good. Let's go. So, are you good friends with that Alexis girl? No. Why? I don't know. I'm just wondering. She's nice to me, that's all. Nice? I can be nice. Hey. What the hell happened? Nothing. But you had a nosebleed. You started hyperventilating. You had a panic attack. That's nothing? I'll just see you tomorrow, Molly. It's fine. Molly, how do you think that makes me feel? To know that my daughter is hurt and bleeding and won't even call me? about you, that's all. Never used to worry. Never paid attention to me at all. I'm trying to control my life. I'm not trying to control your life. You went to see her? She's my wife. Tell me when you're not feeling well. I need to know. What? You need to know if I'm crazy, too? Sweetie, you are not crazy. My head hurts. I hear things. Everything's mixed up. I just... It was all my fault. <laughs> Look, tomorrow I'll make an appointment with the doctor, OK? We'll get you checked out. I know that everything is going to be fine.
do you know where you are? Molly, are you with me? <laughs> easy, easy. Just relax. How did... What's going on? You're in the hospital. Everything's all right, baby. You're gonna be fine. How long have you been having nosebleeds? A while since before, Mom. Have you been experiencing vision problems? Headaches? Dizziness? See this little spot? It's most likely a tumor in your sinus cavity. A nasal hemangioma. A little mass of blood vessels growing out of control and creating a whole lot of pressure in your head. That would explain the nosebleeds, the headaches, the vision problems. What about... hearing things? Can that happen too? Sometimes the buildup of pressure can cause episodes of vertigo or auditory hallucinations, disorientation. <laughs> I thought I was going crazy. We caught it early, so there's nothing to worry about. These things are pesky, but usually benign. We'll do an endoscopic procedure and monitor you for a few days. You don't mind missing a little school, do you? Good. I'll schedule the surgery for tomorrow morning. Get some rest. You see, everything's gonna be all right now. Everything's gonna be absolutely fine. My dad here. Is there any water? I know what you are. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. You're out of surgery now, sweetie. Everything went really well. There's no complications. Tumor's benign. She was here. Who? Mom. No, it's just you and me. I saw her. She tried. No, it's just the anesthesia. Relax, lie back down. I don't suppose you feel like having a visitor. A visitor? Yeah, a friend from school came to see you. Oh. You want me to tell her to come back when you're feeling better? No, it's okay. Okay. I'm gonna go scrounge up a decent meal. You girls want anything? Pizza or chili cheese fries? No thanks, Mr. Hartley. Okay. Okay, I'll be right back. Your dad seems really nice. Yeah. My grandmother works in a hospital. She says flowers make all the difference. How did you know I was here? Everyone at Huntington knows everything. No secrets. Your big news. But don't worry about it. What do you mean? I brought some homework assignments. Thought I could help you catch up. Why are you so nice to me? Molly, can I ask you a question? Sure. Have you been saved? The doctor caught the tumor early. I'll be fine. That's not what I mean. Oh, right. Have you been baptized? My parents don't believe in that sort of thing. Well, what about you? This is your life, your journey. What do you believe? I'm just worried about you, that's all. I'm feeling a little tired. I brought this for you. <laughs> Thanks. Sure. 
I prayed for you every night. How do you feel? Good. Your birthday's coming up. What about a party? A party? Cake, presents, clown? No clown. <laughs> Time rushes by like you wouldn't believe, Molly. I mean, just yesterday you were a little thing in pigtails, and suddenly you got 18. All grown up. And you won't need me anymore. Don't worry, I'll need you. Alexis, enough with the musical interlude, please. Sorry. Thank you. I'm so glad you're back. There's a calculus quiz tomorrow. My grandma says I can come over tonight and help you study. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. All right. Hey. Welcome back. Thanks. Nice catch. I didn't think you'd be back so soon. I would have definitely milked that whole brain surgery thing for like a month off, maybe two. It wasn't actually brain surgery. You're better now, right? Aren't you? I'm fine. Great. Then you can come to my party tonight. Tonight? It's a Tuesday. Exactly. It's a Tuesday and my parents are out of town. I don't know. Maybe. Well, you'll need a secret code. A secret code? Just for the gate. Can't be too careful. Oh, and bring anyone you want as long as it's not a guy. Yo, yo, let's go. Wait, where do you live? Yeah. Molly, are you feeling better? Yeah, thanks. Oh, I hope it wasn't too serious. No. <laughs> so what were you and Joseph talking about? Nothing. We're just friends. Uh, of course. It must be really difficult to be in your situation. What's that supposed to mean? He doesn't really want you to come. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't even see you there. You're a bitch. I know. <laughs> Do you want to eat? So you gonna go? To the party? Yeah, to the party. I don't know if I want to go. Yeah, you do. You want to go and you want to take me with you. You want to go to the party? Please. It's not like I even care. It's just... You know, it's something to do. Come on, you can't tell me you're not bored out of your mind here. You can count, right? So then what's your curfew for tonight? Curfew? Molly! Over here! I don't, um... I don't really do the cafeteria thing, so... Call me later. Ditch the Bible thumper. Molly. Hello. Where did you say you were going? Um, study group. It might go a little late. Um, we have a big test tomorrow. Calculus. Are you sure you're up to this? You're the one who said I was perfectly fine, remember? Plus, I need to catch up. Not too late. Not too late, got it. Let's go. Hey, you've 
forgetting something? Uh, Dad, this is Leah. This is my dad. Hey, Dad. It's nice to meet you, Leah. Make sure she doesn't study too hard. Yeah. Yeah, that won't be a problem. Okay, keep your phone on. Nice outfit. Better. Do you know where he lives? Come on, everybody knows where Joseph Young lives. His father owns like half the city. You didn't know that? No. <laughs> well, Susie's not gonna let you have him without a fight, so. Well, who says I want her? Yeah. Okay, that was convincing. Good job. I saw you in Emerson's office the other day. Oh, really? So what, does that mean we're sharing now? Should we read each other's journals and promise to be best friends forever? <sighs> I have... I have anger issues. My father died of throat cancer last year. Then when he's dead, I find out he's not even really my father. It turns out I'm adopted. My real parents, they gave me up. They just, uh, they just didn't feel like keeping me. So what about you? You got a low self-esteem or a mild depression? or maybe a weird <laughs> psychosexual disorder. My mom tried to kill me. She stabbed me in the bathroom one day after school. <laughs> right. You're screwing with me. She's locked in that psych ward outside of town. Clayton? Dad wanted to move here to make a fresh new start. So here we are. You win. Stop, what is it? Six, five, two, two. Oh my gosh, this is great, this, ugh! You do have anger issues. into it you are so welcome do you seriously know like all of these people no should i probably do you want a drink oh sure <laughs> okay i can take a hint see ya wait can you follow me so what do you want to drink i don't know i'm gonna surprise you you're rich. Rich, rich. Well, I hope you don't hold it against me. So where's Susie? I don't know. Why? Just wondering. You know we broke up, right? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, things change. People change. You look different out of uniform. That's a compliment, right? Of course. You gonna try this. Things changing. Wait. You feel like dancing? Huh? 
Do your parents mind? Let's not talk about my parents. <laughs> but I'm really glad you decided to show up. Me too. Dude, what? That little hairy guy from Lincoln just stuffed a package of frozen burritos down the toilet. What? You got like a, a plunger or something? Yeah, um, I do. Hold on, will, will you stay right here while I go fix this, please? I'm sorry, I'll be right back. I found this, okay? What the hell are you doing here? Your ex-boyfriend invited me. My ex-boyfriend? Am I supposed to be shocked? Am I supposed to run away crying? Am I supposed to be scared? Everyone knows you're a mental case, Molly. Just like your mother. Well, stay away from my boyfriend. I don't like to be threatened. to go home. OK, OK. Well, I'm not ready to go yet. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even be here. I got you invited. Sorry. I think I'm too wasted to drive you home, asking your boyfriend. Molly! Molly! Wait, I didn't mean it. I... I'm trying to call you all night long. Sweetie, you have to leave your phone off. I'm sorry. I need you to come pick me up. I'm not sure I am. Molly? Dad? Dad? Are you there? Molly? Molly? I'm at a pay phone. Uh, it's 145 Fairpoint Drive. Uh, it's um, right across from an old barbecue restaurant. Are you safe? Yeah. Yeah, I'm safe. OK, go inside the restaurant and wait for me right there, OK? I'll, I'm leaving right now. You understand? OK. I know what you are, and I can't let you be filled with darkness. Do you understand? <laughs> Molly! 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 Let me see you! Mom! Where are you? Where are you? Hey, you are she? Where is she? 
Molly. She was here. No. Yes. I know what I saw. Sweetheart, I called Clayton. She's in her room. She's been in her room all night. It's gonna be all right. you are. What? What am I? What am I? Molly, hey, are you okay? I've been so worried about you. I left you messages. Why didn't you call me back? I don't know. What happened that night at the party? I didn't mean to hurt her. Molly, I don't care about what happened to Susie. I care about what happened to you. I don't know what happened. I... You can tell me. Just talk to me. It's okay. Please. Just leave me alone. Everyone should just leave me alone. Molly! It felt real. But you understand that it wasn't. What is happening to me? Fear is a very powerful emotion, Molly. It plays tricks with your mind. It makes you see things and hear things that aren't really there. Nothing is wrong with you. You're perfectly normal. <sighs> Nothing about me is normal. Why did she try to kill me? Your mother is very ill. She's not in her right mind. She's not thinking clearly. Do you understand that? We're going to work through this together. OK. Here. I want you to take this. I want you to call that number anytime you need to talk. I'm here for you. OK. Molly. Look, I'm really sorry, OK? I, I should have taken you home the other night. But it's your birthday tomorrow. Uh, let's let's do something. Molly. Hi. I need to get home. I'm sorry. I know about the party. I know what happened. Susie Woods told me everything. It doesn't matter. I'm not mad you ditched me. Honest. You should come inside. I can't. Whatever you're going through, we can help. If you're lost, if you're afraid, we can help. If you accept Christ into your heart, you'll be blessed with eternal salvation, spiritual protection, grace. Isn't that what you want? You're a good person, Molly. Let me help. Robert Hartley's cell phone. I'm afraid I'm unavailable. I'll take the call right now, but if you leave me a message, I'll call you as soon as I can. Thank you. I'm home. You told me to call when I got here, so I'm calling.
stupid lock. Get the head away from me! Polly, the nurse let me out. She let me out because she believes. What do you want from me? To save you. That's all I want. You have no idea what you're about to become. Can't you feel it, Molly? There's evil everywhere. The darkness that's coming for you, honey, it's coming. What's happening to me? I'm so sorry. We made a terrible mistake. What? You were never meant to live. We were so weak. We were so selfish. You died the night you were born. On the bathroom floor of a restaurant. You came too early. We never made it to the hospital. There was too much blood. I had lost babies before miscarriages and I couldn't lose another one. But then this woman suddenly appeared. I don't know where she came from, but suddenly she was just standing there and she offered us a deal. She promised to make you live. Honey, they knew you were special. That's why she came for you. She, she promised us 18 years together and then you would belong to them. I don't believe you. There are others like you. Dad would have said something. No, he refuses to believe the truth. He made the choice, <laughs> but he doesn't understand. But I know what we did. I know this has happened before. You're crazy. No, I'm not crazy. Yeah. If I don't stop you now, you'll do terrible things. I just want to make things right before it's too late. Before you turn 18. Honey, don't you understand what's happening to you? Can't you feel it? You're being torn from this world. Everything you do will be in the service of them. Your life will not be yours anymore. Don't you Shut understand? Up. I can save you. I'll take you so you can be saved. Oh, Molly! We didn't do anything. She's delusional. She knew something was going to happen to me, and she tried to help me. She wanted to stop it. No, nothing is going to happen to you. That wasn't real. It was some religious nutcase screwing with your mother's head. You have to do something to mom's my fucking birthday. You can't let them take me. No one is going to take you. And this is exactly how it started with your mother, with the religious delusions and the paranoia and the losing touch with reality. She's dead because of me. And I won't let that happen again. I won't lose you too. Let's go. I'm gonna get you some help. A good doctor. Someone who can help you see the truth. I know the truth. I have to find a way to stop it. Then just let me help you. Let me take you someplace quiet and safe. I want you to lock me up! doing 
here. I need your help. I don't know where else to go. Of course I'll help, but you have to tell me what's wrong. Is it too late for me? Is it too late for me to be saved? It's never too late. Even if someone chose a terrible path for me? You are responsible for your own salvation. God lets you make that choice for yourself. You're sure? Of course. Well, choose it then. I choose salvation. I'm really glad you came to me, Molly. You won't regret this journey, I promise. No, I can't take a journey. I need you to help me now. I'm running out of time. Time for what? I need protection. Before it's too late. Please help me. Come with me. This way. This on. This will work, right? If you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, you will be purified. You'll be born of water and the Spirit, and you will be saved. That's what you want, isn't it? Yes. Come with me. crucified for our sins, rose from the dead, and is the only way to salvation? Do you believe and trust in the Holy Spirit who enables us to receive God's word, repent, and believe the Gospels? Yeah. Say if you believe. Okay. Yes. Do you wish to be baptized to seal this faith? Yes. Close your eyes. Are you gonna tell me what happened? 
lot of things that you don't know about me. <laughs> Terrible things. Yeah, well, I could probably say the exact same thing, Molly. No! You don't understand. Okay, so explain it to me, please, Molly. Just tell me what happened. Hey, Mr. Hartley, is, um, is Molly here? No, no. I just, I got her a, a birthday present, so. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Is Molly okay? Yeah, no, well, I'm sure she's fine. Um, do you have any idea where she might be? Say something. I just think you're tired. Let's just go inside and get some sleep. I know you wouldn't believe me. Well, I mean, what am I supposed to say, Molly? Do you really expect me to believe that your soul belongs to the devil? I mean, don't you realize how insane that sounds? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. Yeah. You're right. Maybe I am just like my mother, maybe. Hey, I'm just losing my mind. No, there's nothing wrong with you. I don't know what to do. Look, we just need to get the hell out of here. Away from your dad, away from this whole damn town. And go where? Look, my dad keeps a lot of money in a safe. Enough to go practically anywhere. Just you and me. You don't have to do this. I'll be right back, okay? Emerson, please leave me a detailed message and I'll return the call as soon as possible. Thank you. Dr. Emerson, it's Molly. Something's happened and I'm in trouble. I don't know what to do. I'm at Joseph Young's and I'm really scared. If you could call me back. Joseph?
What are you doing? Are you surprised? It's your birthday, right? Tomorrow? Well, it's almost tomorrow. So, happy birthday a few minutes early. Come on, Diana, about the candle. I want to get out of here. But what about our party? Okay, you're scaring me. What the hell is wrong with you? Joseph, let's go. Let's go! Hi. Dr. Emerson, you got my message. Message? I called you. I, I left you a message. No? No message. Then, what are you doing here? Well, it's your birthday, Molly. Of course I'm here. Just a few more minutes now. How does it feel? How does what feel? Your new life? We're all here for you, Molly. We've watched you grow. We've chosen you. No. No? You knew all along? You lied to me? You promised to help me! He is helping you. We're all helping you. You're the one, Molly. Don't you know how lucky you are? Lucky? You'll have power like no one before you. I didn't choose this. Your mother and father made that choice for you. They did it to save my life. That is not a choice. Of course it is. But human weakness has its consequences. It always has. <gasps> Daddy! I'm so sorry, Molly. I did I didn't. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm here to make you an offer. I didn't believe. We gave you exactly what you wanted. And take me. It was my mistake. Take me. Oh, God, forgive me. I, I have sinned. I renounce Satan and all of this. What can God offer you? We've given you everything. Your very life. And now you have great power ahead of you. I don't want it. You will. God always gives us a choice. Is that what you think? God gives you a choice. Your parents determined your fate. They turned their back on God. They made a pact. Maybe if you kill your father, the pact will be dissolved. What? Of course, I can't offer you that choice, but maybe God can. <laughs> No! Just do it. Go on. Sweetie, I love you. It's... it's me. Just do it. Only way. Please do it. patient confessed to the murder and was brought in about a week ago. There were several attempted suicides, as well as paranoid and religious delusions. I know this is a lot to take in. We've had him under observation for a week. So far, there's been no change. I think some interaction with you might help us draw him out of a shell. No. I'm sorry? I can't. I need to move on. Don't give up on him. He's your father. Not anymore. Miss Hartley, is there something you want to tell me? It's just the way things were meant to be. I know you'll take really good care of him. 
On a personal note, I would like to thank Huntington Prep for not only welcoming me into their school, but for endowing me with the honor of valedictorian. In closing, I truly believe that each one of us has a special destiny, and we owe it to the world to fulfill that destiny. We are the generation who will change the world like no one has changed it before us. You can count on it. Good luck, everyone. Congratulations, Molly. Thank you. See you soon. This prince can't lie. Possessing all the features I've predetermined to objectify. A weaponless Reuben has yet so perfectly realigned.